Hello! Welcome back to another greenhouse vlog! My name's Phoebe and thanks for tuning in. This is Roxy. I thought I would get him to help me. Oh! Earl just walked in the greenhouse too, so <laughs> we got a full house. Um, yeah, I just thought I would get Roxy to help me introduce the video because you hear from him quite a bit. Not as much as before I edited, but um, he makes his presence known next door in the hen house. So uh, yeah, July was a really exciting month out here. Um, lots of growth that I'm excited, excited to show you. Um, as you can see, we've got a little bit more excitement back here, which I, well, you'll see and I'll, I'll explain what's going on too. <laughs> yeah, we're all excited about the greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Are you jealous? Did you want to do this intro as well? Maybe? You can you can help me do the outro. Not as interested. So this month we did a lot of little projects, some you know quality of life adjustments. Uh, did some planting and just watch things grow. I'm excited to show you. So we start off this vlog with a trip to the greenhouse, and um, it was my last trip of the season, so it was pretty special, and it's kind of one of my favorite parts of the video. So enjoy. trip out there. I really took my time because um, the greenhouse is closing for the season and so probably my last trip out um, and it was just really nice to like just take it all in and um, chat with some of my planty friends and catch up and um, this is what I came home with. It's really just everything that was on my initial gr greenhouse shopping list which is kind of nice. The only thing I haven't gotten yet is cilantro or parsley which I may not find at this point in the season, but we'll see. I might, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll happen upon some. Um, so what I did get was this Thumbergia, if I'm saying that right. Um, I love this vine. I had it out in the greenhouse last year, but I had the orange and yellow, though it was a little bit um, too late on the draw, so I only got the white, but it is gorgeous, and I'm very excited to see how it grows in. Um, and I got my pansies, which I love them so much. And then there's a basil hiding in the back, a Genovese basil, which I haven't bought yet this year. So all very exciting. Um, it is a really nice day out here. So I think I'm going to take a break and have some lunch and then I'm going to come and just play around out here a bit.
got back from the beach, so. Um, I think I'm gonna pull out one of my rashes. I've been eyeing one that definitely looks ready. Do you see? Oh, I'm just in. Oh yeah, you see that bad boy? Let's get it out of there. Cause I want a radish for my salad. Oh, oh. Oh, oh this is so exciting. I'm so happy you're here with me. Oh, oh, she is in there. Man, oh. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm getting, getting soil over everybody. <gasps> Ooh. This lettuce has made an incredible comeback. And as you can see, it looks like it's about to start flowering. So I think I'm just gonna just chop its head right off. Um, it's probably bitter, but that's okay. I don't mind. We'll eat it anyway. Oh, oh yeah. And I might just pick a couple of these leaves off. Ugh, how many spiders are in here? Pretty good haul. Goodness. You're so cute, I love you. Oh my goodness, your little face. Oh my gosh. Your little face. I'm gonna turn on the lights for the first time in the greenhouse and I'm gonna pray that I don't get electrocuted. There's a frog when I was opening the door and I'm I'm still not over it. Oh my god, he was so cute. I did want to keep him in a bottle, but you know, that's not fair. Now the only thing is there's probably a lot of spiders over up there. Well, nothing happened. What the lights? Let's just see. Let me take a look. You think one of the light bulbs is unscrewed and now we gotta go through all of them and make sure one is not broken? No, it's just this isn't plugged in. Oh. <laughs> I am back in the greenhouse and it's kind of the end of the month. I've got another week of July left. Um, it's been gorgeous uh, where I'm at. It's just been like such a beautiful summer month. Um, everything is growing really well out here. I think most of the sad plants are not so sad anymore. Um, except for maybe my Tradescantia that's over here. And I'm gonna do something about that today. That's on my list. Um, <laughs> yeah, everything is just like growing really well. I've been fertilizing out here. I have been using a couple of fertilizers. I have a Gaia Greens powdered fertilizer. And then I have, I think it's Fox Farm. It's a CalMag fertilizer. 
I don't know. It seemed really fancy, so I, I got it um, and put it on my tomatoes. And um, I mean, they they look really happy, so maybe it's good. It's hard. To, I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks, so who knows? Um, yeah, cow Meg. I can only say that I was feeling very fancy that day in the farm store because I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what possessed me, but you know. Um, yeah, all the tomatoes are flowering and they're getting pretty big. I'm wondering if I should pinch them back a little bit because, you know, we don't want a repeat of last year where they were all, you know, to the ceiling. Oh, I think you probably also saw me put tomato cages on my tomatoes and like, oh my gosh, last year I waited way too long to do it and I just could not get the tomato cages on without like destroying the tomatoes. So I just ended up like shoving the cages in there to just like prop them up and it was just ridiculous and they were all strung up to the ceiling just to keep them kind of upright. Would not recommend. So make sure you, uh, cage your tomatoes earlier in the season although if you're just seeing this now it's probably too late in which case you can just shove a tomato cage on the side and hope for the best and um, it looks ridiculous but it does get the job done a little bit so windy out here yeah I haven't really recorded very many like talking updates but I am going to try to spend a good chunk of time out here today or at least until it gets too hot uh, because it does get sweltering out here in the greenhouse um yeah so I'm probably gonna just do a few things I yeah this update is so all over the place I know because I didn't mention this back part which is so gorgeous and clean yeah I've done so much out here that I haven't recorded like talking about just because it's been so windy I'm going to trellis my flowering vine which like oh it has a lot of flowers that are just about to pop and it's gonna look so nice when it does um yeah and i'll probably do a few other things that i come across but that's a little bit and so i'm glad that you're coming along to join me i am enlisting some help because i forgot to mention <coughs> roxy's freaking out uh i want to put a little curtain to like span over here because i do think these plants are getting blasted a little bit and then it'll be like a little canopy and it'll be cute <coughs> So this fabric, you might be thinking, is so gorgeous. I've had it for maybe 10 years. No, not that long, but seven, maybe. Seven or eight years. Oh, we doubled over. Um, so it's fine. I'm just happy to finally use it. And to be quite honest, I bought it to make a cute little like canopy bed thing. You know, like a canopy princess bed and I never did and I've had it for that long so I'm still making a canopy I'm just you know changing the locale plus I don't think my partner would be a fan of a like a princess canopy at this point so it, it's all working out for the best
just spent a chunk of time looking for the scissors. And of course, they were in a plant. trellis up <laughs> and it was oh, it took me so much longer like I I was like oh, yeah it'll probably take me in like an hour <laughs> this was like all day all day but you know what it's good I'm really happy and I'm so excited for it to like kind of climb I really hope it stays together if this breaks next month I'm gonna be so sad this is knock on wood for me I just knocked over a giant tower of four inch pots. They are scattered around under my feet. So we're off to a great start. Uh, I am trying to remember what my list was from the other day because it's been a couple of days. We've had some company, it's been a little hectic. The weekend is also gonna be a little bit hectic. So I've got today and maybe a bit of time tomorrow to really get stuff done before the end of the month out here. Um, and I'm trying to remember what I was gonna do. I <laughs> I can't believe that I thought that this trellis canopy thing was just going to take me an hour and I could get through my entire list in one day. That was ambitious thinking. Uh, today though, I am going to try to make more of a dent in what I was doing. I'm going to... I'm trying to remember what I was going to do. And, you know, I got to pay attention to my chickens at some point. They know that they're going to get some of the spinach and radish that have just gone wild in here so they're already excited um yeah so i have to like harvest my spinach i'm gonna pull up my radishes because i really don't think they're gonna do anything anymore and i'm also gonna harvest my mescaline greens and i'm sorry the it's very windy out here i'm just gonna do a quick check-in um <laughs> it's so noisy out here
different pair, but never the same pair at the same time. So, I don't know. This is, this is as good as it's going to get. I'm going to have to do a big clean, um, but that's not going to happen today or tomorrow or the next day. So, And uh, with that, I'm just going to get into my planting. to do the outro because he was very jealous in the intro of Roxy. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Everything is looking so lush. Like it's so exciting to see the tomatoes and to start eating some of the stuff from out here. And um, yeah, the peppers are coming along. Everything's just like coming together. I do wish I had started a little bit earlier in the season because I see other people's gardens and I'm very jealous but it's also okay to just you know do it when you can so I'm just being gentle with myself and I'm still very excited about everything that's happening out here um, yeah so my canopy <laughs> we had a lot of rain and I came out to check on things and you know you still have to water in the greenhouse when it's raining and um, there was like a big puddle right in the middle of the canopy and like it's kind of amazing because yeah it like wasn't really leaking a ton but the water was really suspicious so I just thought take this down and once the rainy weather passes we'll put it back up but anyway these are the things there's Roxy you know he's jealous that he's not in the outro just can't make everybody happy so anyway thank you so much for watching i really hope you like this video give it a like if you did like it and if you want to leave me a comment down below that's very helpful and i'm gonna say goodbye and give everybody a treat including myself thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye